Seltric capacitor that can hold up to 10 times the amount of stored energy and it could be a game changer for grocery shoppers who feel the need to squeeze. Those stories in this week's industry news update. Energy store devices could be gearing up for uses in drilling operations, aerospace applications, and maybe even electric vehicles. Ultra capacitors are a popular form of energy storage. They recharge in seconds, they have a long lifespan, and work with close to 100% efficiency. But they also suffer from low energy storage and other drawbacks. That's where the company FastCap Systems has stepped up with a solution. FastCap developed an ultra capacitor and ultra capacitor based system that offers greater energy density along with other advancements. The technology allows the devices to be used across a wide range of industries, including some that operate in extreme environments. Based on research done by MIT, the design allows up to 10 times stored energy and achieves 10 times the power density of commercial counterpart. New features allow the ultra capacitor to withstand temperatures up to 300 degrees Celsius and temps low enough to endure conditions found in drilling wells and in outer space. FastCap has already taken the technology to the oil and gas industry and has its sights set on aerospace and defense and ultimately electric, hybrid, and even fuel cell vehicles. FastCap's long-term goal is to make an impact on transportation. Well, how about an app that could instantly tell you if your fruit is ready to eat? Scientists have developed a handheld spectrometer that interfaces wirelessly with a smartphone that uses a tiny sensor to instantly determine the ripeness of a fruit. That could eliminate that also common squeeze test. A spectrometer works by splitting light signals into many components that allow the measure of light that is emitted, absorbed, or scattered which then helps identify materials. To test their device, scientists started with a piece of fruit, which turns out there is a relationship between the ultraviolet fluorescence of chlorophyll in the skins of fruits like apples, oranges, and bananas, and the softness of the fruit inside. So the spectrometer measured the fluorescence of chlorophyll in the fruit to tell whether the fruit was ready to eat. The study was done on over 100 apples on different colored skins. For each test, the spectrometer was held against the skin of the fruit to activate the LED light that is built into the device. The chlorophyll in the apple's skin re-emitted the light in an ultraviolet wavelength that was measured by the tool. The measurements were sent directly to a smartphone, which was able to analyze the information and determine whether the fruit was ripe. Scientists believe that the device could be used for lots of other applications, but don't get too excited. There are no plans to bring it to the market anytime soon. That's it for this week's industry news update. Make sure you stay tuned next week for more of the latest news in electronics, automation, and robotics.